LAZ, man, you heard? We moving out here. Gen Pop Gang is in the building. Comment Gang in the building. Slim Blunt Gang is always in the building. You feel me? I'm working, baby. I'm working trying to bring y'all the hottest stories in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? We bigger than TV over here. You feel what I'm saying? TV trying to keep up with us, man. I'm just keeping it 100. I can't, I can't sugarcoat it, baby. You heard? I can't sugarcoat it like a little Debbie honey bun. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is, baby. So we out here moving, man. You heard? Make sure you moving with us. Hey, yo, make sure y'all go check that new single and video on YouTube by my bro, The Bad Seed, featuring Snow Goons. You heard it's called Funk Flex. That's fire. You heard? Leave a comment. Tell them Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. You heard? Brownsville, Brooklyn. Get at me. And if you out here dropping fire music and you ain't promoting it on my channel, you lacking, baby. And that's a fact. You lacking. You missing being seen by tens of thousands of people. You feel what I'm saying? Get your weight up, baby. I'm telling you, I live on 14th. I, I called the bus at night on Halloween. Then some said, just take off running. Now I took off running, man. It looked back. It looked like the Lord of the Rings movie, man. Them niggas was running and screaming. Ah! Man, Jim, I was running so fast, I couldn't even feel the bottom of my feet no more. You said you used to mess with the chick in high school and you bumped into her? Yeah, it, it, it was crazy because like, like I, it was my high school sweetheart. I gotta go back in order for you to get to like the whole feel of it though. Like it was my high school sweetheart, right? I had cheated on her one time. I got the other girl pregnant. Man, she had left me alone and shit. You know, time moves on. I had left and went to college and shit. I'm in college, man. I'm gone for a long time, right? So I was like 95. I come back, it's like 2001. I get a job on a lick, bro. I ain't never did no advertising shit or nothing. But my cousin had just got out of jail and he had left a, a, a newspaper. You know, they try to get you jobs and shit when you get out of here. I left like a little newspaper on the table. So I had just came home from college and shit. We sitting around smoking and I'm like, watch this. I could pick up this paper and get a job right now. So I pick up the paper. And I just go into the voice like, hi, my name is Manny, God damn it, I, I need a job, woo woo. They're like, sure, calm down. I'm like, damn. So, man, I get the job and shit. It's at an advertising company. I'm going to work one day. Now, this is back when the motherfucker got the CD player. So I got a CD player on me, like eight CDs. I got some rap shit, I got some slow shit. I'm playing music. And I'm getting off the train, walking down the stairs. And I just remember the song like, you know, what's, what's the shit? It's like, Mary, why can't you? I'm walking down the stairs and look up, look down, and this girl looked up, and it happened to be her. I promise that God, bro, I was like, tears came to my eyes. I'm like, God damn. So we talked for a few minutes and shit. Long story short, she's like, look, here go my number, here go my address. Come hang out with me. I'm thirsty. I work the job. I get the check. It's October, I'll never forget, it's like fall. Man, I go dead to the store, get paid. Why well, I go get me some all black Jordans, black jogging pants, black hoodie. Now, we got a rule in our city though. Like, if you from the west side, don't you ever catch the bus out south to go get no pussy. You gonna get your ass beat. And the same thing, vice versa. They don't, they, you don't never catch the bus from the south side out west to get no pussy. They gonna jump on it. So, I say, fuck that shit. This is, this, this is about all the business. This, I'm fucking, I'm throwing it all in the off the window. Man, I jump on the damn bus. Man, I live on 14th Street, man. I get on the bus on 12th. I ride the motherfucking bus all the way to 71st. I get there. Man, we hanging out all night. We fan dangling all night. It's a great night, man. I'm talking like, like two, 
two in the morning. I'm like, damn, I gotta get back out west. Shit, I don't know what time the bus stop running. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fine, the fuck out of here. So she's like, no, no, you can stay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, nah, I don't know. Well, you know, you, you look like you stay here with a nigga or something. She's like, he ain't coming back today, his birthday. I'm like, oh, nigga definitely ain't coming back. We on the couch and shit, swing back. I'm like, oh, it's finna go down again. Man, a motherfucker come to the door. Blue, 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 blue. I jump up, put my clothes on in the same motherfucking motion, man. I'm talking, a motherfucker go to the peephole and look out. It's a nigga so big, I can't see shit but his chain. I'm like, damn, who you fuck with? She like, yo, this nigga right here, we the chief for the motherfuckers around here. He call himself chief. Like, bitch, he call himself chief. This shit crazy. So, the bathroom right across from the front door. Man, this is when chasing your eggplant goes the fuck wrong. So, the motherfucker, she got the chain on the door. She go to the door, open the door. You're like, why the fuck the chain on the door? By this time, I just slid in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom behind the door with the light off. Like, Jesus, don't let the nigga have to piss or nothing. It's over with for my ass, right? So, he come through the door arguing and shit like, oh, woo. She lead him to the bedroom, my man. You know how you slide out the door and twist the knob so a motherfucker don't hear it click? That's exactly what I did. Man, I ran down the stairs, man. It felt like 44 floors, so I get to the bottom of the stairs. Now, when I get to the bottom of the stairs, I just realized it's 2 in the morning. I got on all fucking black. I'm in a whole neighborhood I don't even know shit about. Like, this was a dumbass move. I get to the door, open the door. It's about 44 motherfuckers out here. Music bumping. It's dude birthday. They protecting him, making sure he get home. I'm like, oh, this is fucked up. So I come out the door. You know, I ain't no scary motherfucker, but I'm scared. I come out the door. A motherfucker look up and say, what's up? So shit, I, I say it back. What's up? I get to walk. My man, the corner is about a good four blocks away, like where I got to go. Man, I said, what up? He said, what up? Shit, I got to walking fast. Then some said, just take off running. Man, I took off running, man, and looked back. It looked like the Lord of the Rings movie, man. Them niggas was running and screaming. Ah! Man, I was running so fast, I couldn't even feel the bottom of my feet no more. I ain't lying. Look, when I got like halfway to the corner, I seen the bus pull up with the door open. I just jumped like Carl Lewis. I landed in that motherfucker two feet on my ass. Blue. I told the bus driver, drive. That motherfucker closed the door. I said, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? He said, I bet your dumb ass from out west, too. Man, I was so motherfucking scared, man. I'm telling you, don't you ever catch the bus. But go get no pussy. I almost died that night, y'all. I wouldn't have made it home. <laughs> I wouldn't have fucking made it home. I wouldn't even here to tell this story, man. For real, man. Nigga said nigga landed in the bus like Carl Lewis on the 200 meter jump. Like Jesse, like Jesse Owens, two feet in the dirt on my ass on the bus seat, on the bus step. You hear me? My shit was ringing all the way home. I ain't fucking around, man. Straight up. Did you ever speak to that chick after that? Hell no, last. Fuck that. I'm scared than a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Listen, I ain't lying, man. I ain't never been chased by 44 motherfuckers, man. I was running and screaming, motherfuckers screaming. I was, it was like DMX. But like, what over. you think them niggas, they knew what time it was or something? Or Hell, just because right, of the way you said, what's up? Look, it's three in the morning. They chief just went upstairs. And I just came out the hallway of all black at two in the morning on his birthday. They don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> you feel me? I come out the hallway and all black. They man just went upstairs. <laughs> and I just come out. They like, who the fuck is? I go, what's up? I'm like, what's up? I just shot off like Jesse Owens. Fuck that shit. I ain't dying tonight. Even the bus driver knew what time it was. He said, when I jumped into the bus and landed on my ass and said, drive. He said, what the fuck is wrong with you? I bet you from out west too. I'm telling you, I live on 14th. I, I called the bus at night on Halloween. It was Halloween, man. On my life, it was hollow fucking wing, bro. October 31st, bro. I got on all fucking black. Like, this is dumb as fuck. I'm out here on Halloween, just came home from college. Don't know shit. The whole city done changed. And I'm way out south. 
in all black to get my ass stomped to death by some coach. I'm telling you, bro. Me and my homie gonna see two chicks. The chick made some chicken wings and macaroni. If I'm lying, I'm flying. About nine niggas came to the door like, who the fuck y'all in there with? The bitch cracked the door, he snatched the bitch out. I locked the door like, fuck that bitch, she gone. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> what you mean, y'all went to go see some random broads? Man, look, he said, man, I got some chicks, right? I'm like, bet. We slide to the projects, the Harrison Courts, right by my crib. I'm like, man, it's crazy. We go through the hallway, you know, it's like a maze. We go to like a fifth floor, knock on the door, we go in. We chilling and shit, drinking and smoking. Bitch made some chicken and macaroni. You know chicken wings and macaroni. That's a ghetto meal. And about nine niggas come to the door, man. Who the fuck y'all in there with? She cracked the door to try to say something. They snatched her ass out like a monster movie. I locked the door like, shit, they ain't coming in here. <laughs> shit, last look. They got us trapped in this motherfucker, right? She come back to the door. I'm like, fuck that shit. So me and my homie, he fat and shit, right? I'm like, damn, Joe. We in this motherfucker. They come back to the door. She come back to the door. We gone, hell gone. She bloodied up. I'm like, they gonna kill us, shit. It's over with. We ain't never getting up out of here, right? So I'm like, God damn, what we gonna do? So she crying and shit. I said, I know what the fuck we gonna do, Joe. Fuck that. I'm finna go out here with this motherfucking knife and I'm finna just get the swing. So as I'm saying that, I hear a motherfucker in the hallway say, shit, go get the other banger. I said, oh, hell no, the knife ain't gonna do nothing, Joe. We fucked in the game, Joe. Last has been like four hours. These motherfuckers ain't left. They out there like SWAT. I'm like, God damn, they doing that over that? I'm like, shit. I said, man, all fucking last resource. Man, I call the police like, hey, Joe, they shooting right now. <laughs> Look, I was like, they shooting right now. My man over there banging on pans and shit with a spoon. Bang, 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 bang. I'm like, y'all hear that shit? <laughs> bro. <laughs> Police come, bro. Look, they come like, God damn it, like somebody shot the president or some shit. They come deep. Joe, we run out the other, we go out the front door. You know how the whole, how the projects is, it's only one door. Man, we go out the front door and run the opposite way from where we came. Now we lost in the goddamn hallway. All we hear is motherfuckers running around looking for us. We finally find an exit and run like 90 fucking feet across a field of mud. Jump in the car. This nigga ain't got no ignition. He got to use some pliers to pull the pin to start the car. They beating on the car like some goddamn zombies. They pull that motherfucker, pull the pin, and start that motherfucker up, and then say, reach in the club to probably get the 32. I said, man, you crazy the motherfucker, man. Then pull this motherfucker off, man. I went home dirty than the motherfucker. I had like a six-inch gash on my motherfucker leg. When I got home, I needed stitches and all kind of medical attention. That was the craziest <laughs> shit in the world, dog. For real. Man, that shit crazy. When you said y'all was that again, Harrison Court? Harrison Courts, bro. And what part of Chicago you from again? I'm from the west side. I ain't from where Dirk them from and all that shit. I'm from out west. It's a whole different city. You feel me? It's like south side, west side. But we two different animals. You feel me, though? We don't even act like them. They don't even act like us. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never know that. Yeah, yeah, like... You would never hear me say like, oh, phone them, like all oh, them. That's only on the south side of Chicago. Like all that gang banging and shit y'all be seeing on the news, that shit don't even happen on our side of town. On our side of town, it's a whole different type of war. You feel me? It was just that, that they rappers and that shit get publicized. That's crazy. I ain't know that. For real, life. I got a bunch of niggas want to tell them jail stories and shit. My little cousin fell asleep in the dish room. They thought he escaped. The officers beat his ass loose. I'm going to have them tell that story. They call it Water World. What, the jail? Where they wash the dishes at. It's called Cook County Jail. Look up Cook County Jail, man. Yeah, I heard about Cook County. 26 in California. I live right by that motherfucker, man. But yeah, bro, I'm rolling whenever you rolling, man. So you said you got a you gotta chase in your eggplant? 
Yeah, man, yo, yo, I got this wild story, right? So, boom. I'm on tour with, with my nigga Mims. This is around the time, this is why I'm hot was out. It was the number one record on the planet. So, a lot of niggas know about touring and the groupie love and all this, that, and the third, but niggas can't talk about being on, a lot of niggas can't talk about being on tour with the number one record on the planet. Like, that's a different dynamic. It's a different, it's a different grade of bitches. It's a different, it, carte blanche. Everything is just different, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, we was in London. My son Mims, this nigga, this nigga was in the hotel. Like, he was chilling. He was on the phone with wifey. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. He was on the phone with wifey. My ex might be listening to this. Yo, shout the off. Sorry, we not together no more. But, yo, this story disclaimer, it's all good. Like, yo, we was young. Right? So boom, I'm overseas in London. Me and the manager nigga, his name is Chris. Me and Chris, we go out to this club out in London. So it was just us. We didn't go out with men. So you know how it is. Like if you go out with the marquee artist, everybody going jock because you with the main nigga, right? So he stayed back at the hotel. It was just me and Chris. We goes out. So we goes out with the, you know, we had the Yankee fitteds on, the Thames. We screamed New York. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, real talk, we sitting there. It's like, it's like a big ass crowd of bras, like 20 bras. I'm not bullshitting, like 20 bras just standing around dancing, looking like, yo, pick me, pick me, pick me, right? So when we left, we left with like 10 bras. Brought them back to the hotel. Now the hotel was fire. It's some other shit, right? We get back to the hotel. Everything cool. Chris take this one chick into the room, into his room. I'm in the in the other room with all the other bras. You know what I'm saying? So Chris, I'm thinking Chris in the room making love. You know what I'm saying? You know, holding the holding the sheets and looking into each other's eyes. Like I'm thinking the nigga and shorty he had was bad. Her name was Cameron. I'll never forget her bad. I think she was Ethiopian or whatever living out there. Right? So boom, we go back to the room. All these chicks or whatever. It started getting late. I'm playing like music and shit. You know, I ain't thirsty. I ain't on no bullshit. The room was big. It looked like a little apartment. So you know, I start handing out t-shirts to the bitches. Like, yo, here, here, yeah, I know it's getting late. Y'all can throw these shits on. You know what I'm saying? It just fall out where you fall out. You know what I'm saying? I had like some couches in my shit, the bed, the floor, all type of shit. So the bitches start putting the shit on or whatever. My G, I'm in the bed. It's like four on one side, four on the other side, bro. It just got popping. It just got popping. All of us end up getting it popping. But the main chick that I really wanted to holler at, she was sitting over at the couch looking with smoke coming out her ears because she was feeling me too. You know what I'm saying? So she's sitting there looking, smoke coming out her ears. We invite them to the show the next night. They come to the show. We came with the whole bitch out squad or whatever. Um, we all go back to the hotel. I'm trying to holler at Shorty. Her name was Honey. I try to holler at Honey. I'm like, yo, Honey, what's up? She's like, no, you fuck my friends. And Honey was bad. She looked like a thick Rihanna. Like, before Rihanna start getting thick, that's how she was back then. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she's like, no, no, no. I was like, well, look, check this out. We going to Paris tomorrow. So y'all, you, you and your homegirl should meet us out there because she was real cool with Cameron. So I'm like, yo, my man Chris, he's fucking with Cameron anyway. So you come out there. I was like, yo, man, I was really feeling you. I wasn't feeling them bras. You know what I'm saying? I was just something to do or whatever. What's up? So they was like, all right. Man, these bras met us in Paris. We was in Paris for like two weeks. They chilled with us for like a week. This nigga, Chris, this nigga was tight. Because Cameron comes. Cameron has a wig on. And so he ain't want to fuck her because she had a wig. She had real hair. But he ain't want to fuck her because she had a wig. So I was like, yo, what happened? He was like, yo, I felt like I was being lied to. I was like, nigga, what is he talking about? Why is he not? That bitch is bad. Like, what the? Bitch came all the way out here. But nigga, like, why are you not fucking with him? Oh, I felt like I was lied to. I'm like, oh, man. I brought so <laughs> DJ nigga. The DJ nigga end up getting on with, with Cameron or whatever. And then they, you know, they start doing their thing or whatever. But... I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily going wrong, but um, I'm out there 
rocking shorty like she's a bracelet, bro. I'm holding her hand like his wifey. You know what I'm saying? Like, who gonna see me? I'm in Paris. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, who gonna see me? This was, I don't think social media was really popping, popping like that. Probably MySpace. So, ain't no, wasn't no lives or no shit like that. Wasn't nobody gonna catch me out there. But, um, the, the moral of the story is, is I could have, man, it, it, it could have really been bad if it was a social media or whatever. I'm out there rocking Shorty like Shorty was my wife. But all these underlying things, I'm in there, I, 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 I smashed, uh, it was me, and it had to, I think it was like six bras. It was six bras in the bed. That was the first time I ever did that, man. It was cousins, they was, they was licking each other. I'm tripping like, wow, this is crazy. Y'all, y'all some wild bras. <laughs> You know what I mean? <clears throat> group them real groupie chicks is different. Like it's a different. It's levels to groupies. You got some chicks that they just you know they feel they fly enough to have a rapper nigga, and then you got some chicks that they ready to go all out mm -hmm. to and be the around. Ill part about it, but the ill part about it though, last was, bro, we wasn't out there. We wasn't in bro. Mm -hmm. We wasn't men's. We wasn't the niggas with the hit records. We was just in there on some fly New York shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like imagine, imagine if Sun was there. You know that that probably would have been real crazy. You know what I'm saying? But we was just there on the strip for us. We was New York dripped out. You know what I'm saying? Crazy shit. And the bras was just standing there like they looked like the whole womb, my nigga. It was the RZA, the Jizza, Inspector Deck, Old Dirty Bastard, Rayquan, the Chef, Ghostface Killer, and <laughs> word. Like they was all like standing around like they was about to form on us. Like that's how it looked, bro. That's how they was circling us, the bras, bro. I tell Chris, I said, Chris, we fucking tonight, nigga. You know, to this day, I still ain't asked that nigga if he fucked. Cameron that night. I know he was tight cause she had the cause she had the wig on. I don't know if he smashed. He's stupid. <laughs> Who you talking about? You one of your mans? Yeah, Chris. Chris. Chris was Mem's manager. You know what I'm saying? Me and the manager nigga, the nigga that went out that came out with me. You know, he popped out with me. And and he was fronting on Cameron because Cameron had a wig on. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, she had real hair. The, the wig was an accessory, bro. She take that shit off and, and comb her hair. She still look bad. Like, what are you talking about, yo? She switching up. <laughs> you know, this some funny shit, man. Like, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit was crazy. But I ain't gonna front. That was a wild experience. I thought I was an ill nigga with the bras until then. Because, bro, can't nobody tell me shit now. Like, nigga fuck six bras same time, then holler. Holler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word yeah. up. Little old me. And I ain't had no hit record. You know what I mean? Yeah, this gonna be the spin-off. When chasing your eggplant goes right. Yeah, yeah, when it goes right. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit. <laughs> this shit went that. right. LAZ man, you heard? We moving out here. Gen Pop gang is in the building. Comment gang in the building. Slim Blunt gang is always in the building. You feel me? I'm working, baby. I'm working trying to bring y'all the hottest stories in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? We bigger than TV over here. You feel what I'm saying? TV trying to keep up with us, man. I'm just keeping it a hundred. I can't, I can't sugarcoat it, baby. You heard? I can't sugarcoat it like a little Debbie honey bun. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is, baby. So we out here moving, man. You heard? Make sure you moving with us. Hey, yo, make sure y'all go check that new single and video on YouTube by my bro, The Bad Seed, featuring Snow Goons. You heard? It's called Funk Flex. That's fire. You heard? Leave a comment. Tell them Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. You heard? Brownsville, Brooklyn. Get at me. And if you out here dropping fire music and you ain't promoting it on my channel, you lacking, baby. And that's a fact. You lacking. You missing being seen by tens of 
thousands of people. You feel what I'm saying? Get your weight up, baby. <laughs>